Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today we'll be creating this fun ombre style cake decorated for Halloween with brains looking like an ice cream. So you'll need your cake to begin. I've used a four inch here, um, two of them cut in half and then three layers of frosting in between. For the buttercream recipe, I will be sure to leave it in the eye icon up top and in the description box below if you'd like to give this one here a go. Create a crumb coat. This is just a thin layer of frosting all around the cake to trap in any crumbs. And it doesn't really matter what color you make this, it is gonna be completely covered by our final layer of frosting. Fill in any little pockets and then continue to smooth until you're happy with the finish. Once you're done, bring that lip of frosting towards the middle, just pulling it in and then refrigerate for 20 minutes. After the frosting has firmed up, you can add that final layer of frosting. So this is an orange color that I've used here and I've started orange at the very top, making sure it's nice and flat and then applying my bottom half in red. I like an ombre where you can't really see where one color stops and starts. So what I'll actually do is go over the red with the orange and then I'll start to blend these together with the frosting scraper. The more often you travel across the cake as you're smoothing it down, the more the colors will blend. Continue to apply red on orange, orange on red until you have an ombre look that you're happy with. So this was pretty well blended. So I just dragged the lip of frosting to the middle and I popped it into the fridge to set again. Here we have some fondant. I'm rolling it into a ball and then shaping it into like an oval slash brain like shape. I figured this looked kind of brain like. So I took the back of a knife and I scored a line straight through the middle. This is what I'm going to use as a guide to make sure that my little um, brain tubes uh, staying on their respective sides. So I've taken a little brush with some water, brushed it onto the fondant brain, and I'm using that as a glue to help stick on my little log. Make sure you give it lots of bends and crevices. This is what's going to make it look super realistic. And just go randomly. So I started at the front and then I made my way to the bottom. Now I'm back up to the middle and just continue with this motion, keeping in mind that you want to keep it on one half of the line. Start on the other side. And if you do have to create a new log, no stress, you can just cut it where it is and just kind of connect a new piece of um, fondant to that space. Once all done, you can let it set completely Mine took about a couple of hours or so till it was nice and set. And in the meantime, you can create your ganache. This is white chocolate by Nestle. I've added in heavy cream, melted it in the microwave at 30 seconds. And then I'm adding in red gel food color and a little bit of black. Black can go a really long way really quickly. So I added the black on the edge of my container and I'm gently kind of pulling it into that color just a little bit at a time until I achieve that red that I'm going for. And it's like a blood kind of red. It's a little bit deeper than the basic red. At the very top of your cake, you want to create a puddle and then drip it down the sides. I'll be taking my brain, placing it directly on top. And then I've taken a wafer cone, I've cut it down to size and I'm dunking, dunking it into the ganache. Place it on top. This will act like a glue to keep it stuck on there. And if you want, you can drip a little bit more of that blood from the cone onto your brains. For the spiders, I've used dark chocolate with a little bit of oil and black gel food color to darken it. I've taken a piping bag, cut a really small hole at the end so that I have the most control when it comes to shaping. And I've created a circle right in the middle. And then I'm creating these little legs by drawing some right angles and connecting it to the main body. Mirror this as well on the other side. And there you have your basic chocolate spider shape. Let these set in the freezer for a good hour or so before you handle them and they'll be nice and solid. You can stick them on with a little bit of buttercream at the, um, 
at the back and then place them directly onto your cake. And that's it. That is how you create a really fun ice cream brain drip cake. I'm calling this the ice cream brain drip because I think, I think it's pretty accurate. I hope you like the take on the spiders as well. So I have made fondant spiders in a previous video, but this is a much easier, uh, faster way to do it using dark chocolate. If you recreate this, I would love to see it. Hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot so I can check it out. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again in the next one.